Presented by Church Tech U, it's the Pro Presenter Show. On today's show, how to make an operator screen that shows multiple outputs at the same time. Hi, and welcome again to the Pro Presenter Show. This is the show where I help you learn all about Pro Presenter. My name is Paul Allen Clifford. One of the things that I've heard people ask for is the ability to see multiple outputs now that we've got multiple outputs in Pro Presenter 7. So I thought that I'd uh, take just a moment to show you how to do just that. It's really not all that difficult. It's just one of those things where you have to do the things in the right order to get exactly what you want. So let's head over to my computer and take a look. So the first thing we're going to want to do is go into screens and go to configure screens. In order to do this, we need a stage screen that is extra tall. Now, you can do it extra wide. I just prefer extra tall, and I'll show you why here in just a second. So, I have already created one, and that is this one. Let me actually change this name to be Tall Operator Screen. Okay, so what have I done here? Well, basically, I clicked on the stage button here, and I went down to placeholder and went to new placeholder and selected custom screen. So having done that, I put in the size that I want. I know that my screens that I'm previewing are all 1080p, so that's 1920 by 1080 so 1920 wide the width is staying the same but 1080 i'm making it extra tall so um, how tall is extra tall well if i wanted it to be twice as tall i would do uh, 1080 times 2 which is 2160 but in this case i actually want it three times as tall so that's 1080 times 3 is 3240, if I did my math right. So I have this uh, placeholder screen that's the normal width, but it's 3x tall. So that's step one. I have created that. Now, if I were to switch to that tall operator screen, you'll notice that that's kind of skinny. So... Uh, First off, let me go down here to right here. Notice how when I put my mouse over it, it um, makes it eh, where I can stretch this out. So I'm going to stretch that out. And if you get rid of me, I notice that some people don't like the uh, audio part right here. This doesn't get rid of it. It just kind of... Uh, makes it smaller. So this is about as tall as you can get. I could also make it wider if I wanted to by going here, but I like it to where this fits in. So there we go. We're good to go right there. But I haven't shown you yet how I have the um, the previews here. So if we go into screens again, and this time we're going to go to edit layouts because this is a stage screen. So let's create a new layout. So I'm going to click the plus here and let's make it a blank layout. And let's call that blank layout something that makes sense in this case. So maybe... Um, live stream so maybe like in person live stream and maybe stage so in this case what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, have the in-person screen on the top the live stream in the middle and the stage at the bottom. So that's good. 
Now what I want to do is I want to change it to the size of a particular screen and that is this one, the stage screen. So that's the extra tall one right there. Now in order to see the whole thing while we're working on it, let's click there and click fit. Well, that should have done it. Let me see if I've got anything here. That's 62%. Let's try 50. No, that's not big enough or not small enough. 25 seems to work, so that's good. Now, what we want to do is we want to put in three screen previews here. So I'm going to put a... Uh, screen preview here for my main out and I noticed that the the position it starts counting in the upper left hand corner so that's zero uh, the zero pixel on the left and the zero pixel at the top now let me make this full screen 1920 by 1080. Someone uh, on the ProPresenter users group, which if you're not a member, go to tdm.fyi slash ppug and then just request membership. Make sure you answer the questions. A lot of people forget to do that and I have to turn them down and I don't want to, but I do want to keep um, people that aren't actually really interested. I don't want them to be uh, in there. So go there. So someone said, hey, what if I made it smaller so that it uh, has less processing? Don't know whether it would cause um, less processing if you had like a quarter size version of this or if um, the scaling it down would cause ProPresenter to process more. So that's something that I haven't tested out. But anyway, we've got that first screen right here. Now I'm going to uh, duplicate that because that's as I want it. And I'm going to bring this down to where it fits right there. And for this screen preview, instead of the uh, main out, I'm going to select the live stream. Let me do that one more time, duplicate, and then bring this down. And instead of the live stream, I'm going to do a screen preview of the, let's do this one. Now, ideally, what I would want to do is uh, make sure that this is set there. So, let me double check here. Screen preview. Do, do, do. I'm just going to do that one. Okay, so now I have my three here. So if I go back to show and I change down here for the tall operator screen to that one that we just did, the in-person live stream and stage, then I should have my three here. Now let me check on something here. So you can see that I have that going on right there. If I click on that, it's going on here. What I um, probably need to do is, yeah, I was afraid of that. Um, let me just real quick. Yeah, let, I'm going to change that to the this one I'm going to change it to this layout and then I'm going to go back in 
See, I thought that the backgrounds was a, um, I thought that that was a stage display, but it wasn't. It was an audience one. So let's go back in and let's edit the layout again and select this one and change this to the screen preview that is this one. So now let's go back to show and change this to my operator screen, tall operator screen. Okay. Now, let me find a song here, Amazing Grace. So now I've got my live stream, I've got or maybe my in-person screen, my uh, live stream, and also my, my stage display so that I can see all three of those at the same time. And so that's how to make an operator view so that it shows multiple screens, in this case three, at the same time. If you like this content, I bet you'd like my ProPresenter 7 Quick Start course. So just head on over to tdm.fyi slash pro7quick. Just give me your name and email address so that I can make a login for you. That happens automatically, and uh, you can join that course for free. Until next time, this is Paul Allen Clifford from TrinityDigitalMedia.com and ChurchTechU.com reminding you to go out and change eternity.